Okay, thanks very much. Appreciative of uh, receiving funding for the project. And I was told that if we're under time in giving presentations, the funding will be doubled. So I'm going to go real fast. Uh, you can read the title of the project. Uh, we're trying to intercede uh, alfalfa into corn silage to jumpstart alfalfa production. Uh, right after corn, we've got a, a great project team from four states. And you can read the institutions that are involved. Uh, moving on quickly, because we do want extra money. Um, the overall goal is to develop reliable methods to establish alfalfa and silage corn. And what we're trying to do is use alfalfa as a cover crop during and after corn production. And then we want to jumpstart into full alfalfa production the following year for several production years. And so in the system, we're planting the alfalfa in between uh, corn rows. And uh, the, uh, the downfall of the system, although it, it sounds good in theory, is, is that after corn production, this is what you often end up with. So not a very good stand for cover or for alfalfa production. So we've been working on this system for a number of years in Wisconsin, and we've identified a number of keys to successful establishment of uh, alfalfa and corn. And I'll be talking about that some more tomorrow, so we'll get into those details then. So I'll just illustrate that we can go from our normal situation uh, to situations where we have real nice stands of alfalfa uh, after corn production. And so in this particular project, we're doing uh, studies in four states uh, during 2018 and 19. So we're just starting up this year. And uh, we're looking at a number of management factors that uh, we believe are important for the establishment of alfalfa and corn. And those are listed there. And you can see them on the, the poster as well. I'll be glad to talk about that. So management factors we're going to be looking at. And um, collecting a variety of data, looking at crop responses to these management factors. Uh, as I've listed there, we'll be collecting growth environment data uh, as well, because growth environment will affect establishment. And we'll be analyzing the data uh, using mixed model uh, approaches, and also a random forest uh, regression approach that will allow us to rank the imp importance of uh, different factors that affect establishment. So we want to take our studies in Wisconsin, find out how we can expand the, uh, the method so that it, or the approach so that it can work in multiple states. And we'll have outreach uh, programs as well to share what we've learned. So under time. Ta-da. And ready for the next talk. Thank <laughs> you.